Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft. Now, a bit of a different video today because oh, for, for years now I've been asked quite a few times if I would show people how I do my nails because I do my own. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've took all of my gel polish off and I just sort of, I get any, you know, raggedy cuticles and bits of skin off with um with these they're really good um, I also use just a little sand and block to buff over so for years I've used this nail hardener um, I think it makes a big difference I don't my nails don't snap as much as they used to I always snap my thumbs because I know I shouldn't but I always open like cans of pop and stuff with them so every time I do my nails which is normally about every two weeks I always just brush some of this on you only really need it sort of on the top half of your nails just brush a bit on I've used this for years. I also take one of these every day, which is Bi biotin or biotin. Uh, that apparently helps your nails grow stronger. So I take one of them every day. So that is that done. Now I use my LED lamp. And when I'm doing my nails, the first thing I do is I put two coats of this hard gel on. Um, I don't know why, I just like to. I think it strengthens your nails more and I just like to use it. So it's just a clear hard gel. That's my favorite brand, Blue Sky. I've used it for years. Now what I find, cause I've got a huge collection of gel stuff now. So say this, um, colour here black for example so the only thing I find is you can get their brand of the top coats I tried them and the nail gel will only last a week if you're lucky and it starts to peel but what I use swear by this stuff is CND shellac top coat I use this top coat on any gels that I use and it doesn't 99% of the time it doesn't come off it doesn't chip and it lasts now I'm not a professional um, I did do uh, an acrylic nail course about 10 11 years ago but it wasn't for gel polish or nail art or anything so on that side of it it's just what I've picked up myself so I'm not an expert but this is what works for me and I will continue to use it. And as I said, Blue Sky, I've got a huge collection and I love their nail gel, but I will only ever use CND top coat. I wouldn't ever use anything else, never. So hard gel, as I said, I would put two coats on. Now, the thing with gel polish is you want to apply it in thinner coats so just basically you know thinner the better really because if it's thick you're going to end up the chances are it peeling off and stuff so you've got to keep it away from the sides of all your skin like your side walls and everything because you can get infections and things you really don't want it on your skin so I will I would do all that so I'll quickly put this on speed this bit up all right so I've got the lamp I've got the first hard gel coat on uh, 60 seconds under there and then I will do that I do one hand at a time so I will, when this 60 seconds is up, I will put 
another coat of hard gel on and then we'll move on to the polish well the gel polish all right that is two coats of the gel the hard gel now today i'm gonna try this sort of cat's eye gel i have tried something like this before and i was really disappointed it just didn't work you know where you get the magnet and you get a sort of cat's eye effect it's a sort of purple colour, um, but I did read that it's better if you put a coat of black gel underneath first. So I will put a coat of black gel on first. Now again, it's the same, thin coats are the best. And I'll just start sort of near the bottom and then just brush up and then just to the side. But as I said, you really want to keep this off your skin. Don't go too close. Okay. And then you also want to cap the edge to prevent it from chipping. And that's basically it. So you would need another coat of that on so I will do the rest of this I'll cure it under the lamp again and I'll be back okay so I've done two coats of black now I did want to test the cat's eye polish in case it didn't work and I've done all this for nothing so I have tested it on one and it works brilliant but I'll show you close up in a minute so what I would then do is take the cat's eye gel again you don't want it too thick and I'm just going to paint it over the black gel okay then you get a look oh. You get a little magnet with it. You've got to hold it pretty close, but not touching it. Wow, look. I'm so happy this works. <laughs> And then you would just keep going along and doing all the rest. So I'm happy with that, really happy with that, that's so nice. And then as I said, I would always finish off with a CND top coat. Now I've done the little one um, and it's just, it really does stop it from chipping. It also gives it a lovely shine. But when you've done this, you will need to wipe it over um, to get the sticky layer away and I just use isopropyl alcohol which I'll show you that when I finish this love that and I've got quite a few different colours to try as well so isopropyl alcohol I just put a bit on whatever a cotton pad or a bit of tissue and then you just literally just want to wipe it and it just removes the sticky gel layer and that is basically it So I will do the other hand and then I'll show you what I do at the end. OK, 
okay I've done both hands and I have to say I'm in love with this polish it is gorgeous um, and I'll show you what I do I just take a bit of this oil and I just put a few drops just like that and then I just rub it in and that's basically it and then I might put a bit of sort of hand cream on later or it just depends and that is how I do them so I'm going to show you some close-ups of the cat's eye effect There we go. So I hope that's helped or maybe it's encouraged you to try doing your own. I love doing my own, I really do. I just find it therapeutic and I just really enjoy it. So I will put any links um, under the video in case you wanna check them out, the stuff that I use. Um, and I will see you all again soon. So take care and bye for now.